we started the day off with some lousy jobs data. And that's unfortunately nothing new to this market. But it looks like it impacted the energy stocks as people subconsciously or consciously feared that there might be some sort of economic slowdown or at least not positive economic news. So we had yet another disparity between the price of energy stocks and the price of oil. We saw the price of oil do very well today, finishing the day up over 2%. But most of the energy stocks were down, except with the exception of energy transfer, I believe. A lot of them were pretty down substantially. So I took this as an opportunity to add to my position because we saw how aggressively they can perform. Um, and I usually don't do bets on earnings, um, but at these prices after this massive sell-off, I think it's a, a rare, rare time where the risk reward makes a lot of sense in the correct option play. And I'm not a huge short-term option guy, but I'm doing it when we've got Schlumber J down 2% and they report earnings tomorrow. And that's a stock I really like that I think could uh, have a significant rally if they outperform and if the price of energy recovers and they don't suffer from the long-term beaten down notions that have caused energy stocks to sell off in the past 20, 30 years. They are two, three years. They are prepared between now and 2050 to go entirely carbon neutral. So July is this weird month. We've got low interest rates. Mega cap tech has rallied. It's not leaving a whole lot of room for energy. If all of a sudden those trends begin to reverse, particularly the interest rate thing, which probably should happen as the market gets a little more serious with inflation, as it was seemingly a while ago, now we're seeing more of, the, more of the data and it's not as serious. Maybe the two kind of align properly. Um, there's very few better inflation corollary areas to be than energy stocks because energy is in demand and needed. And Schlumber J is uh, priced as if they're going to die in 10 years, but is positioned to survive in perpetuity. So should do well. Hopefully they talk positively on the call tomorrow morning. Regardless, super cheap. Most of my stuff is longer term later this year into next year in 2023. And that's the kind of time frame I'm thinking with this with this move. Um, as I said, you know, I've, I've been all over Exxon for several months now about this renewable biofuel. It's like totally game changing. So... These companies are prepared for the long term, are priced very well as if they're going to die in 10 years. They're not, even if we continue to use oil and gas or not. And the price of oil and gas may continue to go up. So I think there are continuous buys and we got to stick to the fundamentals and not to the noise that's happening today off of, you know, a couple worse jobs lost. You know, the, the, the nature of the situation is it doesn't even matter because there's such an unemployment issue. Like every market is manipulated except like the energy market, but, but that even is because of OPEC. But you got the Fed buying bonds and you got the government paying people to stay home. So... Unemployment doesn't really phase me. Um, hopefully those people get back to work because it seems like there are enough jobs for everyone to have one. And ideally there wouldn't be inflation, but I think there's going to be. So I think we have to stick in that trade. And it's only a matter of time before bond yields start to sell off, bonds start to sell off, and energy... I, I believe, in my opinion, this is my idea, my ideas, um, that energy takes benefit from that. So we'll see. You know, the name of the game right here is stay long, stay steady. Don't get caught up in a day-to-day -day move. You know, I, I don't know if we talked about it much yesterday. We probably talked to either yesterday or the day before 
we were talking about, you know, relax. Like, it's not going to be straight on market. As the saying goes, my dad told me this, stocks take the elevator on the way down and the stairs on the way up. So let's plan on taking the stairs, not the elevator on the way up. And uh, stick to the fundamentals, stick to the script. We're seeing Snapchat and Twitter absolutely bomb upwards on good earnings. Maybe that happens in energy. We're going to wait until after Exxon and Chevron end of July. We'll see how things are. Halliburton was good. It was a beat. Schlumber Jays tomorrow. Hopefully it's a beat. Exxon, Chevron a week from tomorrow. And uh, we'll give it a couple weeks after that and things should be on course. We'll see what happens. And until next time, peace out.